Dude, I know this is the last minute. Rob here, Trail 2323. I'm refurbishing a refrigerator here. Let me stand back so you can see it that way. It's actually a bar refrigerator. Perfect working order. It just looks like crap. Man, I don't like this new. Okay. Gotta flip that. But I'm putting appliance epoxy on it. All right, with this refrigerator right here, I know you've seen it. I'm gonna take pictures of it sideways and flip it over, but it's used already. It's been painted and everything. So what I'm doing is I scrub it out really good, and I'm putting appliance epoxy on it, and we're gonna see what it turns out to be. All right, one can of appliance epoxy did almost the whole refrigerator, but not solid. The first coat, I mean, almost the oh she touched it. Almost the first coat of the refrigerator. This whole side is actually pretty good. But it was one can. And I, this right here, it was black. So it's going to take a lot more to get that done. And apparently at some point, it was red also. Because the red's bleeding through. But this is where it died out. So I'm going to start my second can right now. 10 minute flash time, then get on to the next one. Alright, I got two cans on it now. I didn't do a 10 minute flash time between the two cans because by the time I got to the end of it I was I ran out of half a can I had about an eighth of it more to go so that I started the other can but I figured it's been about 10 minutes since I did the other side so I started but now I'm getting since I finished the whole thing I'm giving a solid 10 minute flash time and then starting then I got my fan on down here so that's what you hear I got everything just blowing straight out the door all right, so I got two more cans left. My flash time is up. I know the door right here and the side right here are going to be the exposed side because the other side is going against the wall and they're shelving above the top. So I got to focus on half of the top, this front door and this side because the other side is going to be against the wall. So it's really not going to be seen. So I got two more cans left. I don't know if you can see a little bit of red there, but there's still a little bit of red. So I'm going to focus on half the top, which is going to be sticking out from the cabinets, this door and that side. Look at that. It is coming out beautiful now. That's the uh, third or fourth coat I put on it. It's covering up all the red. And what I did is I let it, it, since it's been raining outside, I got the door open, I got the fan blowing out that way. It's an industrial, it's a squirrel cage. It's from a, a furnace, so it's a really big fan. So I let that flash time dry a whole lot to like almost get completely solid so it could dry over that red. So the next coat I did, it really did hide the red. Now I got a can and a half left. Well, like I said, with this can and a half, I'm focusing on half the top, this door, and this side, because that's the side that's going to be exposed. All right, last can. This is pretty much overkill, but beautiful. Spotless white epoxy appliance. Of course, you'll see it in the sun tomorrow, but as of right now, it's amazing. It takes 24 hours to dry. I got to move it before the 24 hours, but I'm going to leave a fan, my fan, on low overnight hitting it. All right, so I finished the refrigerator. You see where it's going to right there. And if I don't, I didn't show you the original beginning part of it, but it was black. I mean, literally painted black. And this is with epoxy white right here. And it looks like a brand new refrigerator, although I hit it when I freaking was moving it. So from that point, uh, you know, whoever is for right here could buy epoxy paint. But if you look in the apartment, I mean, that thing is spotless. Brand new. And I didn't even sand it. I didn't sand it or nothing. I didn't sand it. All I did was put epoxy. Well, because they're already sealed on the original paint. So technically, you should just really scuff it up. But I degreased it really good. Washed it, degreased it really good. And then I painted it. Oh, man, another scratch right there. Dang it. All these scratches, all these scratches I got. I guess I should buy some appliance paint. Either way, thanks for watching. You can make, I tell you all the time, you can make stuff look brand new.